Hi guys, I'm going to show you the rhyme scheme that I used when I wrote my song, Ravioli Shoes. This looks like we're using an XAXA rhyme scheme. That means that lines one and three don't add up to anything, and they're really just setups for line two and four that rhyme. But there's actually another way of looking at this. I'm using a device called internal rhyme. That means I'm rhyming means and beans in the same line, line number three, to give you an even more satisfying payoff before you get to the original payoff of blues and shoes. That means we now have an X, A, B, B, A rhyming scheme. So that means you get extra payoff from the whole thing, and by the time you get to shoes, you've already had a little more fun, things balanced out, and the payoff is even bigger. Stay tuned for lyrical insight. Bonkers. I'm making the news from Ravioli Shoes. It's like, yeah, I knew it was like it was a funny thing, but I didn't know it was going to take off and be everywhere on the internet today. Oh my goodness. Thank you, everybody. Hey guys, John here with a lyrical breakdown of my new hit song, Ravioli Shoes. Sometimes you got to do what you can. That's me sort of beginning with this kind of narrative of giving advice to walk off those blues. Walk off those blues, well, it's a metaphor, but it also is foreshadowing for the fact that I'm going to end up with Ravioli Shoes even if it means spending all your beans. Now beans is sort of in here a metaphor for money, but it's also linked to the word ravioli. So I've got two different types of food, and then I get to, of course, the powerful hook, ravioli shoes. I also wanna point out something really powerful, which is linking your lines together as much as you can. A lot of times people just go line for line, and that's cool, but the more you can link them together as thoughts, sometimes you gotta do what you can to walk off those blues, even if it means spending all your beans on ravioli shoes, it helps tell more of a story. Ravioli shoes. Bye. So John, we gotta talk ravioli shoes. Where'd you get the inspiration? Like, what was your process? Take me through. Well, I was looking around online yesterday and I saw these shoes that looked like raviolis and being the songwriter I am, I internalized it and I recorded it, put it up on TikTok and I'm a giant star now. John, Hollywood's online one. Uh, take a message. Ravioli shoes.